Just got back from school. Uh, today I'm going to a gym that I've never been to before. Um, so I'm going to go there, but I'm probably going to cook some food now. Probably going to have chicken and rice, maybe. And then I'm going to hit an insane chest workout. I'm going to try and record as much of it as possible. And I'm going to give you three tips on how to build a big, tight chest. So keep watching the video, or um, if I remember, in the description, I'll leave like the, the second or the minute to skip to. So uh, yeah, see you in the gym. Oh, uh, so time is currently 3.28, if you see that. So half three, I'm going to the gym at quarter to five, and it's time for a nice meal. Also, I'm just going to weigh myself. I want to see, I want to see what I'm weighing in, because, oh, a bit close. Because I am actually currently on a bulk, so this is what I'm weighing. 155 pounds. Goal weight's probably going to be about 165, 170. Um, it's going to be hard to get there, but I'm going to try and get that. So, yeah, sorry, I keep coming really close to the camera like that. But, um, yeah, so, see you in a bit. Whoa, everything's so orange. What the hell? Uh, not orange anymore, should be the door out of the way as well. Not orange anymore, so the camera's good. Um, going to the gym now, just waiting for my sister to put me up. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know if I said it, but I'm going to a gym that I haven't been to before. Uh, it looked really good online, so um, hopefully it is good. It's all my sister goes to, and I've never been there. Um, so we're going there now. Got a green night training top on, and then some black Hollister joggers. These aren't training joggers, but they're really comfy, really warm, so I'm wearing these. Change top, I'm wearing my favourite standard green, green ticked night top, or in the other video, it's been washed, don't worry. Um, need to sort my hair out as well, because this is, it's just, it's annoying me, so I'm going to sort that out, and then I'm actually going to leave the gym. Behind. I'm only human after all don't put your name on me Yo, what's up guys, Connor here, and I'm back with another commentary for you guys. Um, today I'm going to be going over my chest workout, and I'm going to be giving you guys three tips um, for an instant impact on growth of your chest. Um, they'll make it look more defined, it'll make it look bigger, and it'll be tighter. So, my first one is uh, working on your compound movements. Uh, as you saw at the start of this like, workout clip, you saw me adjusting my shoulders and really pushing my shoulders into the bench. And uh, by doing that, you're taking less strain off your shoulders and uh, isolating your chest a lot more. Um, so when you're, doing your, when you're doing your bench press, however heavy you're going, however light you're going, ensure that your chest is isolated. Make sure your shoulders are really pushing back into that bench. Um, and it's literally all, all your shoulders doing, uh, all your chest doing the work, sorry. And next bit of advice I'm going to give you guys for the bench press, arch your lower back. Um, arching your lower back also takes a lot of the emphasis off of your, your, your lower back, which you're arching, and it puts more on your, on your legs. So when you're pushing, you can push through your heels, and therefore you're, you're pushing the, the weight up a lot better. And it's almost, it's almost like um, you're, able to, you're, you're able to bench a lot heavier just because of that. Um, I think a lot of it's psychologically, but... It definitely helps, so that's my, my best bit of advice for that as well. And uh, how you hold the bar, make sure it's at shoulder, shoulder width, uh, therefore it's not going to be working your triceps too much, it's not going to be hurting your shoulders, it's purely chest. Alright, next exercise I went on to was the uh, chest pack, uh, I can't even speak, pec deck. Um, it's genuinely amazing, you can do this like mid-workout once you've got a, a good pump on, and... Um, the first bit of advice I'm going to give you guys, this the, first, the second tip of the video, is squeeze as hard as you can on this, however hard you're doing it. And uh, at the end of your rep, as you, as you see here, at the end of that set, I've just held that for three or four seconds and really squeezed my chest. And it hurts like hell, but genuinely is the best thing you can do because every time you're, you're holding that or you're pulling it back, you're tearing the, the microfibers in your, in your chest and the... Once you tear your fibres in your chest or tear your fibres in your muscle, once they regrow, they regrow bigger, 
and uh, better and stuff. So make sure you're, you're holding it and you're squeezing like mad and it will genuinely, it will blow up your chest like mad. You'll get a crazy pump on and your chest will grow instantly. Um, it will probably hurt the day after, but no pain, no gain, right? So make sure you're doing that. Uh, I can't remember what working weight I was at. I think, I think in the video you just saw me go to my working weight, it was about 86 kg. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in pounds, uh, unfortunately, but I went quite heavy today and um, I tried to maximise maximize like my squeezing and really trying to keep a good form. So as you hear, I'm pretty much keeping my whole body really, really tight and um, still and my arms are pretty much completely straight. And the next, the little thing you just noticed is um, I'm even like even when I'm sat up straight and I'm doing the pec deck, I'm really pushing my shoulders back and trying to just push that chest out and emphasise all the work on that chest. Um, and that really just helps to to maximise the isolation of the chest and make it so much better and grow a lot better. So definitely do that. If your gym doesn't have like a pec deck or anything, you can always substitute this exercise for. Uh, Dumbbell flies on the bench, which is just as good, or even cable flies. Just anything where you're stretching your arms out and pulling your chest and stuff it works like a dream, genuinely. It's so good. So the next exercise I went on to was the incline dumbbell press. Incline dumbbell press is so good for isolating your pecs, especially your uh, upper pec. And um, the, thing, the thing that I'm going to speak about now is the third tip for, for building that big, firm chest. At the top of, uh, once I've got the dumbbells up, don't clink the dumbbells, like, don't make them, don't let them touch. You want to hold at the top, and as you see, I'm pausing for maybe like half a second to a second or so, and that's just, that's just going to emphasise sort of like the pressure on your chest and isolate it a lot more. Um, whereas if you're clinking them together and holding them against one another once you're, you're up, it's sort of, it, I guess it's like the cheap way of doing it. Um, it's not going to work it as well, it's... It's just a lot easier. It takes a lot of the pressure off your chest. Um, whereas once you're once you're up and you're not clinking the dumbbells together and you're holding them separately, it it, it stretches your chest and it does hurt. Um, but again, it's genuinely a really good way to get good growth in your chest. So I definitely recommend doing that. Um, and again, arching the lower back. And oh fucking hell, I'm doing a lot of talking. <laughs> when you're on the bench. When you're on the bench, make sure the bench is at about a 30 degree angle. Um, a lot of like studies and stuff have proved that a 30 degree angle and incline, uh, whether that's barbell or dumbbell, um, it maximises the growth of your chest. I don't know why, don't ask me, but read about it and stuff. Finish at the gym, good chest workout.